be sure to head to patreon.com slash kingofclubsyt to help support my channels. That's patreon.com slash kingofclubsyt. Link will be in the description. There are plenty of reward tiers, so please check it out. Hello everybody, King of Clubs back once again with some more UPW action. We've got a special event for you guys today. This is our Revenge 2 event. Let's get straight into the show. We got seven matches for you guys. A lot of action on the way. Got my computer and everything all set up here as I'm trying to make sure I get everything going the way it needs to be going. Make sure it's showing up on Twitch. Got a slightly bigger venue this time around. Still coming from the seedier side of Chicago. But a bigger audience nonetheless. This is kind of going to be the norm going forward is having bigger crowds for our, for our shows, for our special shows, special events, if you will. Alright, let's not waste any time, let's get into the action. This is a number one contenders match for the Women's Championship. It's a straight up singles match between Kitty Sparks and Carmen Guerrera. Make sure I did my social media stuff beforehand. In fact, I'm going to go ahead and, as this match loads up, we're going to go ahead and get a few more people in the loop on what's going on. I want to welcome you guys to the show. Getting ready to start our first match here. As it's getting set up, I'm also going to send out some more, uh, some more information to other people. Also feel free to share this stream with your friends and family if you think they might enjoy the show. Post it in a couple places. Go ahead and get started for our opening contest. Here comes Kitty Sparks. She is a creation submitted to us by Shamrock Star. I want to thank Shamrock Star for allowing me to use this, their creation. Um, anyone who wants to submit creations to us, I'll submit. I'll show the hashtag in in the uh, chat here in just a, just a little bit. Actually, I'll go ahead and do it now while she's making her entrance. Utilize this hashtag if you want to send your creations to me. Uh, it's hashtag UPWReborn19, all one word. Anyone using those hashtags will be able to, will get their characters featured um, on our main roster. Right now we're doing a, kind of a recruiting process. We're looking for, we have a priority of trying to sign female talent to expand our women's division. We want to expand both the uh, women's division for singles competition as well as our tag team division. So if you've got a female superstar you'd like to submit to us, um, even if she's a solo act, if she if if she looks like someone that I might be able to pair with somebody else, I will certainly do my best. And even if not, we can easily work around and and come up with teams for people. All right, and here comes Carmen Guerrero, the first ever women's champion. Making her way to the ring. Again, this is a one-on-one -on -one contest to determine the number one contender for the women's women's championship here on our main roster. Just 
posting the information here so that other people can find the stream easily. Okay. Right, share that here. Posting this on my public um, Facebook Facebook page. All right. Here we go at the opening contest. Lock up and escape there. Trying to get the side headlock. Sparks trying to fight her way out of it. Able to back her into the ropes and push her off. Duck under. Leapfrog. Oh, and a pump kick. An early pinfall attempt here. No, oh, kick out before one. Ooh, kicked in midsection. This is one of her own. Lee Sparks setting up for a shoulder bomb. Oh, a nice counter into a DET by Carmen Guerrero. Whip now into the corner. Oof. Guerrero fighting a little dirty here. Oh, and a kick to the spine. Pinfall attempt. One. Oh, kick out before two. Guerrero going to work on the head. Twisting on the head and neck there. Sparks able to fight free. Oh, float over DT. Ooh. Sparks trying to fire herself up here. Ooh, shot to the back. Oh, and a Rainmaker style lariat into a pin. One. Ooh, kick out there. Just get kicked in the midsection. Going for that modified torture racket, and it looks like. Trying to get a submission from the former champion. But Guerrero fights free. Ooh, slap to the face. Another one. Oh, no, clothesline there. Here we got in mind now. Ooh. Apparently it's just getting tagged. Oh no. By the back of the neck going for a oh no. Inverted choke slam. Oh very nonchalant cover. Oh night. Barely one count at best. Into the corner there. Oof. Off the back elbow. Oh no! Giving her a taste of her own medicine with that Bernie hammer. One, two, oh, two and a half. Guerrero able to kick out. Stomps. Throws her over the top to the floor. These works showing off a bit. Oh no, dove over the top to the concrete floor. Crashed hard. Sparks throws her back in. Springboard frog splash misses. Kick to the spine, oof. Working her over now is the former champion. Big chop. Oh, and a Snapdragon suplex. One, two, oh, barely two. Ooh. Listen to your foot on the face. 
Another kick to the midsection. Looks like she's trying to set her up for the torture rack again. Ooh, Carmen able to fight free. Up into the corner. Where I got mine now, she's gonna throw Kitty to the floor. Ooh, a baseball slide through the corner. You know, look at this. Slides beneath the bottom ropes. Or camera will pick it up. There it is. Ooh, big right hand. Goes right into the steel barricade. Oh, and catches her with an uppercut. Oh no, whips her head first into that steel barricade. The freeze count to four. Sparks back in the ring. Might win my count out if uh, Carmen can't get back in the ring. Barely able to drag herself back in. Oh no! Oh no! Just taken out the knee. Oh, drop kick though. Swift down again. Going for that high angle. Oh no, counter. Going for that high angle flatliner. Ooh. Repeatedly ramming Kitty's face into the top turnbuckle padding. I'm going for the legs. Oh, she's swinging her. The smaller Carmen Guerrero using some strength to swing Kitty's sparks. Ooh. Drops her down hard. Going for a pin now. One. Two, no, two and a half. Barely kicked out. It's arm drag there. Sparks. Oh, there's that high angle flatliner. One, two, three. And Sparks survives to win the match. That was a close one there between these two tough ladies. And they shake the hand. That's a great show of sportsmanship between the two of them. Fans may not like that Case Sparks got the win, but she did it clean. Alright, ladies and gentlemen, we're going to get ready for our next matchup here. And I'm going to step off camera for just a moment as we get ready for a number one contenders match between Raf, Aaron Gaspar, and Monster Heel. So, I'm stepping off camera just for a bit. As you know, I try to record everything. Uh, about right notes down on paper. <clears throat> I didn't have my pencil with me. I had like everything else. That was the one thing I was lacking when I was preparing myself. Alrighty. So. Let me post a few more places about this pay-per-view event. Get people hyped. As I was talking about earlier when I mentioned the uh, UPW Reborn 19, the hashtag there you see in the live chat, it's um, it's the best way for you to get your characters on my main roster show. 
And anyone who submits a creation, I'll use them. I'll give you a shout out in the videos whenever your character is being used. And I'll also give you credit in the description of each video. So as we're getting ready for this next match, again, this is another number one contendership match. This one's for the World Heavyweight title. As they're making their entrances, I'm going to go ahead and get some other people hip to what's going on here. Gibbs Aaron Gaspar. Creation submitted to us by Psychoholic420. So thank you, Psychoholic, for sending us your creation. Again, use that hashtag UPWReborn19. Get all your goodies. Get all the uh, credit, all the uh, exposure that one could want. I was actually going to try streaming this earlier in the day, try to do it this morning. However, it was storming pretty bad out here, and now it's finally starting to clear up. I don't even think it's raining anymore. So that's good. Okay. So I've sent out notifications. We should be good on that front. Next you see Raph, the leader of a faction known as the True Darkness. Creation sent to us by Solio6, so thank you Solio for allowing me to use your creations. Now, I did mention earlier that our prerogative, our priority, necessarily is uh, focusing more on the female superstars. If you have a male superstar to send us, we'll still take them as well. Um, it's just that we have a higher priority to, to sign up female characters right now. So if it comes to a point where we're receiving characters, um, both male and female, the females are gonna be the ones we're signing first. And then we'll look into working out the uh, male characters afterwards. <clears throat> All righty. And last but certainly not least, a former world champion and monster heel. He's been having some issues with Aaron Gaspar as of late. Raph has kind of been intermittently appearing in the middle of it. But ultimately, Gaspar and monster heel have been at each other for the past several weeks. Start with one attacking the other, then Gaspar got a surprising victory over Monster Heal. And uh it seems to just enrage enrage the the beast, if you will. I mentioned earlier as I was as that I was planning on streaming this earlier in the day, and the reason why is because I'm going to be editing and 
uploading this to YouTube tonight, but I also wanted to get some other stuff recorded today as well during the rendering and uploading processes for this video. So we'll see if we still have time for that, but right now the focus is this event and this match in particular. Ooh, Monster Heal immediately charging after Gaspar. Oh no! Taking down the referee too. Not that Monster Heal really cares. Oh! Gaspar pops up and kicks him. In that mask. Which is not the back elbow. Oh no. And so this is a traditional triple threat match. Oh! The running super kick to the back of the head by, by Raph. This is a traditional triple threat match, so the first pinfall or submission in the ring gets the win. No counselor's qualifications. Oh! Kind of modified Nick Breaker there. Now Rap seems to be the one in trouble. With Gaspar trying to fire himself up. We've got two big monsters throwing him around right now. One in, one in particularly large one that just dumped him out of the ring. Or caused him to roll out of the ring, excuse me. <laughs> now Raph going to work. Oh, on the arm. One monster heal. Oh! Modified slam there. Unique style offense, uh oh. Monster heal. Breaking the neck, stopping the neck breaker and countering with one of his own. Oh no, here come the headbutts. He's got that steel mask on. Oh! Raph back in. Loving at the former champion. Oh no! Monster driver! Raph goes down. As far as getting up, barely able to kick out, he picks up Gaspar, who counters into an arm drag. Oh, an implant DET goes for a pin. One, two, kick out by Monster Heel. Heel to the outside. Raph getting back up. On the shoulders. Oh! Knee to the face. Oh! Followed by a running knee. Kind of a GTS into a Kinshasa, if you will. One, two. Raph able to kick out, though. I guess far throwing Raph out to the, to the floor. Oh, he's calling Monster Heel on. Monster Heel doesn't care though, he's going after Raph. Wonder how that makes uh, Gaspar feel. <laughs> oh! Never mind, they're fighting it out in the ring instead. Ooh, ran right into him there though, that didn't work. <laughs> Double underhook. Oh, just holding him upside down. Oh! A wonder hook suplex. Kind of a butterfly suplex of sorts. Oh! Tips him with a super kick. Didn't drop him though. Oh, that chop block sure did. Ooh, neck breaker there. Now Raph's starting to get back into the match. Ooh, what a combination there. That's far rolling out to the floor. Saving himself, perhaps. Uh-oh. Well, maybe I spoke too soon. Raph's coming out after him with a back suplex on the apron. Now that just leaves Monster Heel and Raph and... Oh, reverse DT there. Pinball attempt. So 
So the two bigger guys in this contest are fighting out in the ring. Gaspar rolls back in. Stops the pinfall attempt. Ooh. Kind of clips. Monster Heal as he's getting up. Oh no. Oh, look at the strength here. Oh, knee to the chin right under the mask. Go for a running knee, perhaps. There goes Raph over the top, onto the floor. Monster Heel being pinned. One, two, oh, only a two count. Gaspar, oh, hits a diving elbow. One, two, another kick out there. A monster heel. And it's odd seeing Monster Heel in a vulnerable position. But he's having a lot of trouble with the likes of Aaron Gaspar. And Aaron Gaspar. Oh. Went for a knee. I don't think he quite caught him flush. Oh. Oh. For spinning back kick didn't get him. Oh, an F5 style maneuver by Raph. One, two, ooh, saved by Monster Heal, barely. Right now, again, you're seeing Raph and Monster Heal fight out. Gaspar in the middle of the ring, not moving, or not moving much. Now starting to crawl. Look at that. Tornado power slam. One, two. That's far makes the save. Oh, Rainmaker style lariat into a cover. One, two. Oh. Oh. Right knee goes for a pin. One, two. Not enough. Fans showing their appreciation here. This guy's far got in mind. He's looking down there at Raph, who's slowly getting himself up. Started to take a running start, but then caught himself before possibly making a mistake there. Uh oh. Got wrap up. There's the knee to face. Followed by the running knee. Oh, this is a mistake. Monster Heel's well aware of the situation now. Oh, and he gets thrown away though. Chop. Oh, blocks the kick. Forearm shots right under the under the chin of the mask. Oh, oh no! Gotta give him a flatliner into the turnbuckle. Going for it one more time. Knee number one. Off the ropes coming for knee number two. And that might be it. I'm gonna look at this impact. Boom. That running knee. He's cupping the rope. There he goes. Finally gets himself free. Goes for a pin. One. Two. Three. Oh, but Nostriel misses. Monster Heel trying to break up the pin without knocking out the referee. Probably wanting to finish off the match himself. But it, ultimately he missed. And that means Aragon Gaspar is your new number one contender for the World Heavyweight Championship.
This was a close one though. Multiple times looked like it might have ended. A lot of battling back and forth and even some battling going on without Aaron Gaspar being involved. Alrighty, are they answering a message? I'd like to interact with those who are interacting with me, even if they're not necessarily in our live chat. If they're sending me messages off to the side, I like to interact with them as well. So let's move on to our next contest here. We're gonna start getting into our title matches. First up is the Bloodsport Championship match, the debuting Brandon Mason taking on our current champion Chase Danger. Alright, so as we're getting this match set up here, I want to let you know that there's a free way to help support the stream. Um, just go to this link here, loots.com slash kingofclubs87. That's a free way to help me out. Um, it only works whenever I'm live though, so make sure you do it during my broadcast. So, what that means is, you go to this link when I'm streaming live, it'll ask you if you want to give me a tip. Now, don't let the word tip fool you, you're, you're just helping you're just helping out the channel like you're not actually spending money um, at no point does it ask for any card information either it just asks for an email address um, and the reason why is because it has you confirm that you want to leave me a tip and what tipping does is it lets sponsors know hey this guy is being interactive with his audience you should pay attention to him that's really what it all, what it all boils down to so the more people who use that during my broadcast the more eyes I get from sponsors and the better that I do Here comes debuting Brandon Mason. Interestingly enough, he's wearing a shirt that says Danger Zone, which is kind of the name of the finisher that uh, Chase Danger has used in the past. Interesting to see what this guy's about. I said this is his debut. We haven't seen him before. Alrighty. Now here comes the champion, also Brandon Mason, along with Chase Danger both. They're made by RGM1223, so thank you RGM for allowing me to use your creations as well. Make sure I get that shout out. But I figure I do it kind of in a, kind of like straddling it if you will. Um, making sure that uh, both creations are credited to their creator. Here comes the champ, making his way down to the ring. Chase Danger is a three-time Bloodsport champion, following in his father's footsteps.
But what's going to happen going forward? Can he hold on to his title against this newcomer? The only way we're going to find out is in this contest here, mind you. This is under traditional blood sport rules, which is first blood rules, meaning there is no pinfalls, submissions, countouts, or disqualifications. The only way to win a first blood match is to make your opponent bleed first. That can happen inside or outside of the ring at any time. Chase showing off that belt to everybody here in the arena. And that's what this match is all about, ladies and gentlemen, the Bloodsport Championship. See the graphic there on the screen. know much about this newcomer though. It's a, kind of an anomaly. Doesn't seem to have any connection to the wolf pack that we know of. Now you've got Chase Danger. Chase being a very active champion as the title is defended every week. Plus again at the pay-per-view events, so it's a title that is often up for grabs. It can change hands at any moment. You're not going to see a whole lot of technical wrestling here. Oof, a lot of strikes like that. The challenger going to work on the midsection of the champion. Not going to really... Not going to do much for a first blood match, but certainly wear someone down. Making them easier to inflict those finishing blows. Oh. We're getting the arm. Kick to the midsection there. Ooh. Running step of Insigiri by Chase Danger. He gets thrown out to the floor. We see Brandon Mason going after him. Oh, ramming him back first into the steel barricade. Up. Oh! Catch him with the Enziguri again. Oh, look at the strength now by the champion. That deadlift powerbomb. Kick. Ooh! And Discus Lariat taking down the champion. What's going on? What's happening here? Kick to the midsection. A gory special. Oh, into a flatliner. Laying the champion out. Oh, running double axial didn't connect. Oh, a kick to the legs drops the champion. A nice vertical suplex there. doing now got a, got a sledgehammer hold on 
Oh, counter, dropping him face first on the head of that sledgehammer. Beating him out to the floor. Oh, and just throwing to the table for his trouble. Oh, the first off the announce table. Local commentary team there. Oh, thrown into the corner. He's got that sledgehammer again. Now going out to the floor. Oh! Baited him out there so he could hit him in the midsection with that sledgehammer. Ooh. Got a midsection for his trouble too. Danger now. Oh! Suffers a wicked elbow drop. Oh! Kind of a screwdriver style move, maneuver there. Look at this. The power that takes to lift someone up and then, oh! Drop them in like a sit up tombstone style maneuver. Another Daddy Elbow missed that one. Oh! A hard hit to the midsection. Oh, the champ slips behind him. Lights went out temporarily. Not sure what happened there. May have had some technical difficulties. Oh! Kick to the back. Mason popping up though. Oh, and a Bulldog. Oh, nice sequence there. Oh, Lariat in the corner. Chance starting to get to his feet very slowly. Oh, no! Powered into a power slam. Oh. I have a forearm with a forearm. I'm going for a reverse sit out TT. Oh, double X channel to the spine. Oh, counter. Oh, it catches him. Oh, with a sit-out fisherman buster. Sit-out fisherman driver, excuse me. Brandon crawling to the ropes. Not sure what Chase is doing. Oh, wasn't getting caught. <laughs> oh. Mishinoku driver slamming down Brandon Mason. Mason's in trouble in that right now. Oh. Kick. Oh, and a corkscrew slam. Oh, picks him up and then drops him down. Oh. Oh, counter. Hits him up. I'll oh, go for that flatliner again. Oh. Try to take another look at this here. Drops him, kind of catching the ropes a bit with that too. The chase, not going down without a fight. Oh, oh, power kick. Chase going up top. Be thinking, time for that diving DT. 
Oh, he gets him. And Chase Danger retains the title. So Chase Danger with a successful title defense against the debuting Brandon Mason. And what a hard hitting match that was. So congratulations to Chase Danger for retaining his title. And we're getting ready to move on to our next title match. Got the women's tag team titles up for grabs. Got the she Wolves about to challenge the Little Nightmares in a two out of three falls tag team match. Now we're getting this set up here. Another way you guys can help support the channel, both here on Twitch as well as on YouTube, is utilizing this link here. If you go to Streamlabs, dot com slash king of clubs 87 you can donate to the channels no obligation just something that if you want to help support the channel in a, in a financial aspect that's a great way to do it <clears throat> there's other great ways to help support the channel as well just by sharing liking um, getting the word out letting people know what I'm about what I do that helps me and that doesn't cost anything at all uh, if you're subscribing on YouTube, it's another thing on that's free that also helps me out. We're on the road to 50, aiming for 50 followers on Twitch, 50 followers on or 50 subscribers on YouTube. We're at 48 followers on Twitch currently and 40 subscribers on YouTube, I believe, as of today. Here come the challengers. Oh no! Champions blindsiding them. Hitting him with the belts before the match. What a vicious attack. Oh. And it's a. Uh, they have to have people from each team in the ring for this match to become official. And all four of them are in the ring. The, match, the bell's wrong. I think it's going to be Erica. Starting off with Yuri. What condition are the challengers in after that brutal ass assault? Hitting the back of the head. Oh! With the title. And now being choked by Yuri, one half of the tag team champions. She did all making her way over to her side of the ring. Teresa Cage up on the apron. Now, the She-Wolves, Teresa and Erica, are both creations made by RGM1223 as well. So once again, we want to thank RGM for allowing me to use his creations. Counter there. Ooh! Kind of a flip cutter. From the quarter by Erica, going for the pin. No, not even one. Erica, who... Not only got attacked before the match, but got worked over a bit in the ring. Should probably consider tagging out. The jury applies a backbreaker to her. Oh no. Cutting the ring off there. Very smart tag team wrestling by Yuri. Uh, mind you, this is a two out of three falls match, so the first team to get two falls will win and be the tag team cha women's tag team champions. Now the uh, champions are double teaming. Erica taking turns stomping on her. Referee can only do so much. Not really getting in there to oh stop them. Well after that Erica pops up, but she's facing the wrong way. As Yuri catches her from behind. Oh roll up here. One kick out as Tracer wants to make the save. A 
Erica Cage is in a lot of trouble right now. But she makes the tag to Teresa and goes for a double team with her. Flying crossbody taking out Diablo. And a pinfall attempt right afterwards. No. Diablo just barely being in the match hardly. Oh no. Now she's going to get worked over by the much more rested uh, Teresa. Oh no, missed with the double knees. Oh, turn off fair play there with a the counter of her own. Billy Max suplex. And Teresa is coming in like a like a house of like a house of fire right now. Oh, hard slap. Yuri pops down off the apron. Diablo going up top. Double knees to the midsection. This could be it. Teresa go getting pin one. No, kicks up before two. That was a, kind of a weak kick out in my opinion. Oh, wait a second. Twist of fate. Goes for the pin. One. Two. Tried to surprise one half of the tag champions. Now going up top. She's got a long way to go. She's going to try to hit that moonsault. But she hits it, though. One. Yuri makes the save that time. Oh. Missed with the drop kick. But gets, catches her, though. Well, has her draped. That neck breaker. Goes for another pin. One. No, not even one. Y'all able to kick out. Ooh, forearm strike. Roll up. Referee calls a rope break. Not even looking at it, though. Not sure what that's about. Oh. Nice clothesline takedown. By one half of the challengers. Oh, there with a big right hand. Oh, Diablo set her up on the top. What you got in mind here? Wait, oh, dumps her off onto the floor. Crashing down hard. And that's got to be, it's got to be making the situation worse considering that Teresa was also hit with the title belt before the match started. Another rope attempt. One, two, Yuri makes the save. Oh, nice side rush and leg sweep there. Teresa catches Diablo before she can tag out. Oh, never mind. Stands her up, but stands up right by her partner. Oh! Stiff looking neck breaker there. For Yuri. Oh, blue thunderbomb. And a pin for the referee is distracted by Diablo. Now he's going to make the count. One, two. My goodness, that was a hell of a delay. And you gotta believe that. <clears throat> Oof. That gave Yuri more than enough time to recover. Oh! Tag made since her. or by Erica on Teresa. After catching. oh! After catching Yuri, but now Yuri looking to catch. Teresa with the oh a set of knees to the midsection had her draped and then just dropped it on her pin but no Erica able to kick out oh now just having her head rammed into the canvas modified a uh, chin lock there. That's like a cross face, but we're gonna make the escape anyway. Oh! Victory against the ropes. Oh no! Stomping her face into the into the canvas. 
Crowd responding not in favor of the... Uh... Oh, look at that. The, in favor of the champions, that spiral cutter. Two. Kick out at two. Again, this is still the first... We're still trying to decide the first fall of this two out of three falls match. For the women's tag titles. Oh, nice counter there. Harry sitting up on the top turnbuckle. I was just kind of staring at her, but I'm not sure, not sure what she has in mind, but it uh, looks like she's going for a super flex. Ooh! Hands are down hard. I want to remind you that before this match started, the champions attacked the challengers from behind. Tag made. In comes Teresa. Oh, look at this. Hard series of strikes. All by a, oh, blue thunderbomb. One, two, oh. And breaking up the count as well as as well as going after or knocking out the referee. Diablo saves the, the first fall. Oh! Pays for it though. Cover. One. Two. Kick out two. See Erica getting back up on the apron. A little worse for wear, at least seems to be that way. Oh, counter into a reverse DT there. Oh, there's another neck breaker. Oh, counter by Yuri with the back elbow. Oh! Cross body. One. Two. Oh, two and a half. Oh, knee to the spine. Catches her over the apron. Oh no, it gets hung up though. By Yuri. Oh. Now it's the tag team champions in control. Oh, and double team here. Referee needs to get in there and put a stop to that. <laughs> oh, counter. Duck. And a clothesline. Oh, Stop the kick might have been thinking just a fate, but right now the champions seem to be in control for the moment. Oh, kick to the spine. Teresa popping herself back up. Series of clotheslines followed by a single leg drop kick. Kick. Twist of fate hits it into a pin. One, two, oh! Kick out two and a half. Well, Erica takes down Diablo. Oh, and a Mishinoku driver on Yuri. Diablo on the floor. Yuri down. Oh, there's the cartwheel moonsault. Goes for a pin. One, two, three, and the first fall. Go to the challengers. Tag made. And there's really not much of a rest period. Up into like a torture rack. Oh, into a reverse TKO. For a kick. Tom Pandel. Oh! Death Valley Driver. Going for the pin. One. Two. Oh! Two and a half. Oh! Misses with the elbow drop.
Going for it again. Up on the shoulders. Into the pin. One, two, three. And that time, even with Yava coming in to make the save, the She Wolves are now the new tag team champions. This is a hard-hitting back-and-forth matchup. The champions get an early advantage with that sneak attack. But the Eversley Die attitude would propel the She-Wolves to getting that 2-0 victory and becoming the new women's champions. A couple times when we thought the referee might have been helping out the champions, but that was not the case. As you can see, Erica and Teresa celebrate with their newly won tag team titles. gentlemen we're ready to jump into our next title match here in just a few moments transition from the women's tag team division over to the men's tag team division as we're going to see two members of the wolf pack take on the great latin veterans Alrighty, and as this match is getting set up here, I want to let you know that if you're interested in supporting the channel in a monetary way, but also getting something in return for it, check out my merchandise store. It's at zazzle.com slash kingofclubsyt. Link will be there in the live chat as well as in the description if you're watching this on YouTube. And uh, also all of my links are visible on Twitch if you go to my channel page on the website. Yeah, you can get all types of merchandise, including this shirt that I'm wearing right now. Uh, you can find other items, not just t-shirts. We also sell uh, baby outfits, dog outfits, um, posters, magnets, buttons, uh, just a variety of stuff. We're looking to add new items and new designs um, in the near future. You can get this stuff. It's not always wrestling stuff, because this is, this is actually technically not really wrestling I mean, I've used it on characters in wrestling before, but it was never designed to be truly uh, wrestling-based. It says, uh, this is my Tranquilo face, and that's that can be used universally. So, definitely something worth checking out. Like I said, it's not always wrestling stuff. It's just stuff that, represent, that relates to me as a creator, both on YouTube and Twitch, and just stuff that I find amusing. I am working on some new designs for... Uh, kind of a mascot, if you will. And uh, that will be revealed hopefully very soon. Hopefully, uh, maybe on our next episode of UPW Main Roster. We shall see. Here come the challengers, the Wolf Pack. Representing the Wolf Pack is Max Cage and Tank. They are brothers, they are former champions in their own right. They're also the creations made by RGM1223 as well. So thank you once again, RGM, for allowing me to use your creations. And you hear that name a lot, especially during pay per view events, because RGM has been the one to send me the most creations of anybody. But I want this to be a community thing. I want it to be not just my creations, not just our game's creations, but I want it to be a variety of people getting to have their, their names shouted out, getting to have their credit given to them for what they do.
case in point, our tag team champions are not made by our jam or myself. They're made by uh, another creator. Here you see Elion and Diego El Numero Uno, also known as the Great Latin Veterans. They are the EPW World Tag Team Champions. They are also the creations of one CWK11198. So thank you CWK for allowing me to use your creations as well. We haven't seen a whole lot of the champions. In fact, the last time they were in action, they fell sh they fell prey to the Tarp Brothers uh, in back-to-back -back matches. First, losing by countout, which kept their titles around their waist, and then the second one, they got decimated by the champions, or by the cha by the former champions, in a non-title match. But due to a, a mini tournament that was held over the past few weeks, it was the Wolfpack who got who got getting the title shot. You see, a look at our challengers. It's Tank on the left and Max Cage on the right. They are brothers of each other. They are also brothers of number one, current number one contender, um, Raymond, who is going to be challenging for the title tonight in our main event. There you see the champions, Elion and Diego El Numero Uno. They hand off their titles. That's what this match is all about, ladies and gentlemen. The World Tag Team Titles from our men's division. It's gonna be Elion starting off against Max Cage. Oh, Super Kick stunning him. Max Cage blocking. My understanding, Max Cage is the one that's married to Erica, whereas her partner is also her sister-in-law, Teresa, and. Uh, Teresa is married to Raymond. Wolfpack's kind of a, an actual family. See Elion posing a bit there. Our referee's starting to hold him back. Oh no! The referee! The referee gets knocked down. Oh! Neck whip. So, the referee was holding back Elion. Elion comes in, or Elion gets hit, as does the referee, by Max Cage. Tag double team attempt now by the champions, the GLV great Latin veterans. Ooh. Pair up kicks. Tag. In comes Tank. Oh! Catch him with that spinning back elbow. I yeah, faked him out like he was going to give him the boots. Oh no. Come with the knee there though. Light it back. Suplex. Low angle. Punch in the midsection. Lower punch in the midsection. Oh, look at this. And for a power slam, switched it to a vertical suplex. Let's him think about it for a minute, too. Oh! Big right hand by Diego El Numero Uno. Oh, but Diego gets caught with a backbreaker there. Oh, counter. Diego has him up. Oh! 
Slams him down hard. Goes for a pin. One, two. A kick out by Tank. Now it seems like the champions are in control. Oof. There strikes there. Oh, counter. And tank with the DT. Slanting Diego. Uh oh. Diego counters. Oh! Catching Max Cage. Oh no! Dropping him with the DT. Oh, and our reverse DT. He yeah, didn't like that. It's kind of a dirty maneuver by Diego. Oof. Cyborg slam. Oh, and a spine buster. Oh, caught the foot. Oh. And tagged Elion, who is kind of showing off with the crowd for a minute there. Uh oh. Oh, Hurricane Rana. Tag made. In comes Max Cage. Oh no. Big clothesline there for Max Cage taking down Elion. A little slow to get back up to his feet though. Maybe playing a little bit of possum there. Oh, that's close on that time. Kick to the midsection. Ooh, a rolling kill switch. One, two, oh. Nice reversal. Oh, wait a second. Elion with the counter. Or, I'm sorry, El Diego El Numero Uno with the counter. Elion still in the corner. But Diego didn't make the tag. He stepped down, actually. Oh, for a super kick. Couldn't connect. And with him across. Oh, running four on in the corner. Oh. Oh no. Calling a little too much, Max Cage made him pay for it. Leg drop there. Back elbow, oh no. Tag made. Diego comes in. Oh, look at that. Got an AA. One. The LFU. <laughs> oh, Max Cage shows him off. Gets him up on the shoulder and drives him down. All that elbow drop. Oh, hard whip into the corner. Max Cage rolls out of the ring. We come back in just to get caught. Ooh, snap suplex. Oh no, another LFU. One, two. Oh. oh, I could have sworn that was three. Referee says it's two. Person didn't see a kick out there, but maybe I just missed it. Oh, nice counter there. Just across the ring. Tag. 
Double team. Oh. Uh, Leon. After the double team is thrown. And right now it's the Wolfpack stomping Elion, one half the tag champions. Just stampeding on him right now. Uh, basement drop kick there by Tank. Going for a cover off of it. Oh, nice save there by Diego. Tank doing. He started to go after Diego, it looked like. Elion is still laid out in the, I was about to say in the middle of the ring, but more so in the corner of the opponents. Oh! Nice sequence there. Now Tank just wearing down. Oof. His opponents. Setting up on the top turnbuckle, big right hand. I don't know, what's he gonna do here? Top rope super flex to the floor. My goodness. Out to that concrete floor. Again, no padding out there. You know, look at this. Boom. Oh. Caught the foot, hit him with an insigiri. Or excuse me, a step through leg whip, leg kick. Tag made to Diego back in the match finally. Oh! Running boot to the face. Big belly to X suplex. Pair of clothing blows. Oh, and then hangs up to dry. You got in mind here. Got him up top, hits him with a one. Oh, whipped over the top rope. Almost into his own partner. Max Cage comes in. Both men miss, but the referee is down. Oh no! Referee starting to get back up to his feet. Drop kick to the back of the head, catches Max Cage. Ooh. Pair of clotheslines there. All by one off the ropes. Oh, and there's the ooh. Island Slam. All by a leg drop. Kind of leaving them in the corner, they're not sure why. Kind of getting jaw jacked over there though. Oh, and a stomp! One, two, three! And the Wolfpack gets the win. They've got new men's tag team champions, new women's tag team champions. Right now, you're seeing the Wolfpack take over. They've got both sets of tag titles in their camp, and Raymond's going to be challenging for the World Heavyweight title tonight. Chase successfully defended his first or his Bloodsport title.
All right, ladies and gentlemen, we're getting ready for the final two matches of the night. We got a last woman standing match coming up for the women's title, followed by a last man standing match for the men's title. All right. And another great way to help uh, support the channel, if you're looking to do so, we you check out patreon.com slash kingofclubsyt. A lot of reward tiers there, ranging from as little as a dollar and then going up. Uh, rewards consist of, but are not limited to, uh, access to exclusive polls, discussions, and videos, exclusive merchandise you can only get through the Patreon, as well as... Uh, deals on merchandise that you can get through the merchandise store but can't get bundled the way that or at the price that you can get through patreon so a lot of deals on there worth checking out um all types of goodies um and it's a great way to help support the channel again the links will be there in the live chat as well as in the description um as and, and also on my twitch channel page The last woman standing match about to go down between Nicole Fujinami and Tessa. Whoever wins this will be able to will be defending that title next month against Kitty Sparks. Again, the last woman standing match means there's no pinfall, submissions, counts, or disqualifications. The only way to win is to incapacitate your opponent to where she cannot answer a 10 count. Cole Fujinami, a former champion in her own respect. Making her way down to the ring. Alrighty. Here comes the champion, Tessa. Tessa is a creation made by Solio6, so thank you once again, Solio, for allowing me to use your creations. Very uh, proud champion is Tessa. Doesn't really seem to care what uh, the audience thinks of her. And the way this match kind of came about was uh, there was, I believe, a triple threat match the number one contendership for the women's title and uh, and essentially there was a moment when Nicole kind of stole the victory she uh, one of the women got hit with the finisher and Nicole threw the other woman the woman who hit her with it out of the ring and made the cover herself People had kind of a mixed reaction to it, claiming it was opportunistic of her. But regardless, here we are, and we're going to have this last woman standing match for that title. Tessa retained her title last month in a Hell in a Cell match against Doreen uh, Redfield. Which, my god, that was a hell of a match by itself. We 
FC. Champion Challenger ready for this match. And something you might notice when it comes to the uh, women's championships and the men's championships, they look essentially identical. Just one of them says women's, one of them doesn't. And that's because, you know, we're all about everyone being treated the same, so women can main event things, women can hold titles, they can they can all look the same, make up kind of uniform. The only difference is what goes on between shows that might differ. Interesting start here to this match. The, again, there's no qualifications or countouts, so the fact that this is uh, starting out like a wrestling match is kind of surprising. Oh! Tried to put on the brakes. Did not pan out though. And blow the back. Oh! Now we're starting to see the strikes. Kind of more what I expected to see here. And laying into each other. We're going over onto the apron. Oh! Nice kick counter there. Oh! Then gets caught with the clothesline into the corner. And Ryan knee strikes from Tessa, the champion. And this is the last woman standing match, so the referee will have to administer a uh, 10 count and try to count somebody out once they've been incapacitated. Otherwise, the match will go until that time. Oh, a German suplex in the corner, holding on. A second German. And a trio of them. Dropping her on the back of her head. The referee being very lean. It hasn't begun a 10 count yet. Oh! Kick to the spine might, might change things. Tessa now throwing Nicole over the top rope to the floor. The match can end inside or outside the ring. That part doesn't matter. The referee's kind of taking his time getting out there though. Oh! Knee to the middle. Uh oh. Edge up on her shoulders. Oh, an F5 on the concrete floor. But look at how she just pops up, completely no selling it. Oh, back elbow there by the challenger. Champion fighting her off. Down there by the local commentary desk. Ooh, series of strikes. Tessa throwing away the challenger. Every needs to get in there, start putting in the count. He starts counting. He's way over there, though. He's out of the way. We count to six, seven, eight. He's up at eight. Oh, blocks the chair shot. Uh oh. Now he rolls her into the ring. Oh, a German suplex of her own. It's up for two. Oh, looks like she's getting ready for another F5, but gets countered. Oof. Stomped in the back as she was getting up. Nicole has her by the hair. Oh! Drops her down on her back. And a high angle belly to back suplex. She has a kind of rotating that shoulder like she may have heard it. Oh, rolls out of the way. Rolls out of the way again. Oh, oh no! Blasted in the side with that chair. Wait a second. Oh no, she's got her, her, her head trapped. Going up top, no way. Oh, rolled out of the way. Just in time. That could have been career-altering injury. 
had she connected. Uh oh. Oh! A glam slam style maneuver there by. Oof. By Nicole, who's now going to work on the champ's back. That gets her into a headlock. This won't win her the match, but it'll certainly wear down the champion. Oh. Uh oh. Chance got her up though. Oh! Not on the chair, but right next to it. So I'm not able to get the, the head and neck, but now she's going to go after the knee. Maybe if I make it to where she can't get up. Oh! Missed yet again. Oh, sit out power bomb. Two. Oof. Two. Up to four three. Oh, just to get kicked back down yet again. Oh, thrown around. Chance. Oof. Able to get back up. Uh oh. Oh no, drops her again. Another F5. The power of the champion. Oh, there's the chair shot to the head. Oh no! Stopped on the chair, on her knee. Oh no, it hit her again. Oh! Laying her out. Tessa just wearing that chair out on Nicole. Oh! Throws her back into the ring with that overhead belly to belly suplex. I'm going for the triple power bomb. There's one. And a second. And a third. Oh. So Nicole pops back up. That's what's so crazy is that Nicole will pop back up. She didn't care. She wants to regain the title. Off the rope. Oh no! Catches her. Oh no! Uh, pops her up. Catches her and then F5s her. Got that chair again. Nine. Oh, barely able to get back to her feet. Oh! You sit down with a shot to the end section. She's crawling. Referee's allowing her to get back up. Oh! Oh no. I unprotected chair shot to the head. Seven. Eight. She's up again. Oh! There's another one. Oh no. Oh no! Landing face first on the chair that time. My goodness. Look at the impact on this.
Boom. Nicole's barely moving. Every count already up to seven. Nine. Ten. Tessa wins, retaining her title. My god. You got some kids setting up fireworks outside. So I apologize if you hear some uh, popping in the background. That's all that is. So what a brutal, brutal last woman standing match. But Tessa retains her title. My goodness. That was hard to watch. Nicole wanting her title back, but just getting brutalized for it. And Tessa almost seems proud of herself. Uh, unprotected chair shots, F5 in her on the chair, also on the concrete floor. Oof. That's a brutal, brutal way for it to end. All right, ladies and gentlemen, it's time for our main event. We got Raymond challenging Leroy Brown in a last man standing match for the World Heavyweight Championship here in UPW. But for now, let's get into the match. There's Raymond, another creation made by RGM1223. Wait a minute, there's the champion from behind. Oh! Blindsiding the challenger. Okay, this is a last man standing match. There's no disqualification. I don't know why the referee's even bothering to hold him back. I guess just so you can give Raymond a fighting chance before the match starts. Oh! Raymond and uh, Leroy Brown have been fighting back and forth for a while now. Each one getting involved in each other's matches. Well, not so much involved in the matches, more so attacking each other outside of the matches, after the matches. Leroy taking it to the challenger, though. Oh, just pummeling him. And Raymond's a former champion. Oh! A cutter there on the floor. After the arm. You know, Leo Brown and Raymond have a lot in common. They're both former Bloodsport champions. They're both former... Or they both have held that title at one point or another. Oh! Brown, he's uh, not afraid to bring the pain on somebody. Ooh, fast hands to the midsection and then with the uppercut. Uh-oh, got in mind here. Oh, Leroy Brown spearing the ch challenger through the barricade. Oh, the impact of that. You see him showing off his, uh, how proud he is. Batten hand. Oh! Cutting open the challenger, now just wailing on him with that bat. Oh! Jab counter. Oh! And then thrown into the bear, or thrown into the steel post, excuse me. He 
see the the bandages on the forehead of the champion. He's been bust open more than enough times. But now he's already bust open his challenger. Now, oh, running boots. My God. Look at his impact. Oh. Sandwiching face against the steel post. Referee being very lenient, not giving them, not putting in the count yet. And Raymond, he could have been counted out by now. Now the count begins. Oh! And attack him with the bat now. Oof, sickening thuds. And Raymond looks like he could be seriously hurt. Oh, Northern Light suplex there by the challenger. At least you some life. Ooh. Just in the arm of the champion. Not trying to give himself a breather. Oh, ducks the clothesline. He gets caught. Wait a second. Zero Brown got in mind here. Oh no, uh, sit out power bomb on the table, through the table. Look at this. Oh! Raymond just needs to stay down. You know, his, his family, his wolf pack, they've won plenty tonight. I know he wants to dominate, he wants to take control. Oh! Right now he's just being decimated by the champion. And the, the fans aren't even happy anymore. They're just booing the champ for what he's doing. He's coming back though. Oh! Look at that Northern Light suplex. Now getting back in the ring. Oh! Big elbow drop. Ooh, kick to the side. Raymond fighting back. Oh! He's against the ropes. He's trying to hang in there. And now what? Throwing him to the floor. We're around having mind. Oh no, not really. Oh, kick to the midsection. And a power bomb on the apron. My god. Look at this impact. Oh, spine first. Against the hardest part of the ring. Freeze putting in the count. And Leroy Brown is in the ring. Raymond could be out. This match, by all accounts, should be over. <laughs> and Leroy Brown wins. My goodness, look at this. Oh! Fast hands followed by the uppercut. Speared him through the barricade. Running boot there to the post. A sell out powerbomb through the table. Oh! And then ultimately it was this powerbomb on the apron that won the match. There you see Leo Brown celebrating with his title. 
What an absolute disgusting human being he is. Wait a second. He dropped his title down. Now what's he gonna do? Oh no, now he's going back to work stomping away at a defenseless Raymond. Raymond, who's lost the last man standing match, got brutalized by the champion. Oh! Oh no, now he's not gonna he's gonna give him some bad news on top of it. Raking out the face. Oh! And a stomp to the back of the neck. Leroy Brown is an absolute terrible human being. But he's our world champion, whether we like it or not. Well, ladies and gentlemen, I want to thank you for joining us here at Revenge 2. This has been another special event here at UPW. Um, if you want to see the entire series, you can catch it on YouTube. There's a whole playlist for it showing all the regular weekly shows plus all the pay-per-views or special events that we have held. Um, be sure to tune in next time. We have our main roster show coming up. Uh, it'll be airing on YouTube tomorrow. I'm going to try to get it recorded today, though, just so it's out of the way and taken care of. But until then, thank you so much for joining me. Remember to be cool, have fun. We'll see you in the next one. Have a good night, everybody. Get your Camp Clubs goodies at Zazzle.com slash Camp Clubs YT. That's Zazzle.com slash Camp Clubs YT. You can find all types of merchandise there. Be sure to check the link in the description for more.